Hi, I'm Jin Yansu, a graduate student at USC. Today, I'm going to talk about our work on turbo aggregate, breaking the quadratic aggregation barrier in secular federated learning. This is a joint work with Basa Kuller, who was a postdoc at USC and recently joined University of California Riverside as an assistant professor, and Salma Nabesmir, who is my advisor and professor at USC. This talk is going to be on the topic of federated learning, in particular issue of quadratic aggregation overhead. This is fundamental bottleneck in federated learning. I'm going to specifically talk about a new protocol named Turbo Aggregate to address this quadratic barrier. Let me start by giving overview of a federated learning. Federated learning is a distributed training framework that has received significant interest in the recent years. It trains machine learning models over the vast amount of data collected on mobile devices. One of key features of federated learning is maintaining the privacy of users. To do so, the training dataset of each user is kept on the user's devices instead of being sent to a central server. In this framework, training is coordinated by a central server who maintains a global model which is updated by the mobile users through an iterative process. At each iteration, the server sends the current version of the global model to users and users locally perform model updates. Each user sends the local models to the server and the server aggregates the models to the to update the global model for next iteration. However, recent works have demonstrated that even though the dataset is kept on the devices, model invasion attack can reveal extensive information about private training dataset of the users. To prevent such information leakage, secure aggregation protocols ensure that the individual model of each user is kept, kept private both from other users and the central server. Goal of secure aggregation is that the server or users can learn nothing beyond the aggregation of all local models. Here is the state of the art of secure, secure aggregation. Google research team proposed great work on practical secure aggregation. It protects the privacy of individual models by utilizing a protocol known as additive masking. Let me briefly explain how the state of the art works. There are n users and a single server in the network, and each user has a local model. To protect the privacy of individual model, each pair of users agree on pairwise random seeds to mask the models. Each user generates masked model YU by using randomness based on the pair, private seed and the pairwise seed. Users send the masked model YU to the server instead of sending local model XU such that the server cannot learn the local model XU. This additive mask has unique property that its randomness will be cancelled out at the server when the server aggregates all masked models. However, one of the main challenges is user dropouts. If user U dropped before sending YU, then the randomness cannot be cancelled out. To solve this problem, user secret shares the random seed. The server reconstructs the seed of dropped users and reconstruct the random mask based on the seed and subtract the reconstruct random mask from the aggregate model. This reconstruction process dominates the total learning time and each overhead is order of n square. 
Here is the experiments that we have done to demonstrate the performance of state of the art. X-axis corresponds to the number of participating users, and the Y-axis corresponds to the total learning time. There are two key observations. First, total learning time is quadratic in the number of users. Second, the total learning time substantially increases as the dropout rate increases. This is because the server should reconstruct pairwise random masks of dropped users and the number of pairwise random masks is n squared. This quadratic aggregation overhead is a main bottleneck to scale the secure, secure federated learning to a large number of users. So, main question we want to answer is, can you overcome this quadratic barrier? The answer is yes, and we propose a new protocol named Turbo Aggregate to overcome the quadratic barrier. We demonstrate that the overhead is almost linear. Here is the high-level system overview of the Turbo Aggregate. Turbo Aggregate has three main components. The first part is a multi-group circular aggregation, which enables fast model aggregation. The second component is masking local models with active masking to provide the privacy of the individual models. This part is similar to the previous scheme. But the key component of Turbo Aggregate is third part, which utilizes the coded computing to add redundancy in the system as a way of tolerating dropped users. I will briefly explain each component. The first component is multi-group circular aggregation, where n users are randomly partitioned in capital L groups and L equals to n over log n. Each group has log n users, and users in group L send their messages to the users in group L plus 1. Aggregation is executed sequentially over the L groups, and at the, at the end of the protocol, the server can obtain the aggregate of all models of participating users. This structure enables the reduction of aggregation overhead from order of n square to the order of n times log n. The second component is active secret sharing. Each user masks each local model with active secret sharing to protect the privacy of local model. Key property of active secret sharing is add randomness in a way that this randomness can be cancelled out once the models are aggregated. The third component of Turbo Aggregate is to add aggreg aggregation redundancy by using Lagrange coding to enable robustness against delayed or dropped users. In particular, injected redundancy are passed from one group to the next so that the added redundancy can be used to reconstruct the missing information due to the usual dropouts. As I only provide a high-level idea of Turbo Aggregate, Please refer to the paper on the archive for details. Here is the theoretical guarantees of Turbo Aggregate. Turbo Aggregate provides aggregation overhead of order of n times log n, which is almost linear as opposed to the order of n square overhead of the state of the state of the art. It also provides robustness against up to 50% usual dropout rate and it also guarantees the privacy of individual model against up to n over 2 colluding parties. This is experimental results over Amazon Institute Cloud. There are three key observations. First, we demonstrate that total learning time of turbo aggregate, turbo aggregate is almost linear in the number of users. Second, total learning time of turbo aggregate remains stable as the dropout rate increases. Third, turbo aggregate provides 40 times speed up over the state of the art. In conclusion, 
we propose Turbo Aggregate, a new framework for secure federated learning, and it reduces the aggregation overhead from order of n squares to the order of n times log n. It also guarantees the privacy of local models, and it <coughs> provides robustness against half dropout rate thanks to use of coded computing. It has many exciting future directions, such as finding the optimized topology for secure federated learning. Another interesting future direction is to design a secure aggregation protocol which provides resiliency against malicious adversaries as well as guarantees the privacy of individual models. Please refer to the paper on archive for details and please contact me at this email if you have any questions. Thank you.